okay so today what I am going to do is in my previous video I installed IntelliJ IDEA so today I am going to write some programs so I choose I will do uh, one rust API so how we will implement a spring boot based rust API so it's a very simple application just printing out a hello world whenever I am taking that end point in my URL I will get a hello world response so how we will do that just going to the IntelliJ idea right now IntelliJ idea I am going to create a new project and uh, I choose spring initializer so that's uh, one I need so you ha you have two choices one is to go to spring start dot spring io and uh, download that project from there here how I will do I need to choose the particular version then I need to choose wh what are the dependencies I need so actually I need spring dependency then and just generate that project will download that one then extract that and import that into IntelliJ IDEA so here also it works in the same way so uh, you need to give the group name here so uh, I'm giving my name and uh, test projects or something so test is fine so then I'm just going here and I am adding my Spring Web dependency here and project should be test itself and I am just uh, creating that project right now so non manage pom.xml not as maven project I don't know what's happened here so it's a maven project actually something bad happened there is maven project so right now something is going to happen I guess right now I'm fine so here let's see what is here so I got an error here it's saying set up a JDK so I have 11.5 JDK that I install after installing my IntelliJ area so I need to configure that so uh, I just choose that one so right now we can see what is going to happen here let's wait to compile that then only I can proceed to the next stage so during that time I can do one thing I can create a new package here so I'm going to create a new package like controller so basically when we're creating an application like this we need a controller service and a repository so yeah right now we are fine the application is okay right now and I'm going to create a controller here so mg hello, hello controller and I need to use some annotation here so controller or rust controller whatever annotation you prefer you can use that so in, in somewhere in future yeah, I will discuss about what is the difference between uh, rust controller and just controller annotation so here I need to give a request mapping so where that annotation okay request mapping here what, what path I need to mention I mean during the running this particular application which path I need to get so uh, I'm going to return a string here so I'm just mentioning a string and to get head over or something just remember to give a meaningful name 
and not receiving anything I'm just printing out my string that's the only thing I need to do right now so inside this one I'm just printing hello world okay so right now our application is ready it's a quick application so right now I'm just trying to run my application let's see what is going to happen right now yeah yeah you can see my my application started in 8080 and uh, probably it will give okay the output local host 8080 so I got the hello hello world so this is a cute tutorial so thank you for wat watching so in my next video or something I will do more things so actually my next video probably how to use docker to run this particular program before going deep to the rust api microservice that kind of things we will focus more on front end back end devops everything to be combined that's it for today